Are we buff? Can everyone see? Can everyone hear? Extra awesome rats always on my stream most of the time. Yeah, he's just the mod that shows up when he has the chance. He's often busy. Scene. We live awesome. Awesome. Let me just real quick delete. Delete. Cool. <laughs> it's just uh, cute stuff. Alright, from the start. Here we go again. To everyone who hasn't seen this before. This is Cooking Companion, Appetizer Edition, featuring this lovely little cabbage here. We haven't played this before. This is the first time. And nobody is going to doubt that. Nobody's going to question anything. Cool beans? I mean, these cabbages is supposed. To, this cabbage is kawaii. Okay, okay, okay. Screw the five minutes. We're not waiting to get into this. New game. This warning. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue? Please read the skip. Oh yeah. About this game, it's a spooky game. That's why we're playing it in Spooktober. That's why it needs a whole warning label. <laughs> My restaurant is a cook. Each music is gonna be the sous chef. Y'all are just hype. Like gasp. It's a spook. I never saw it coming. <laughs> Cute Persona 5 music. Alright, we have our lovely redhead Karen. <laughs> I hate to say it, but you really outdid yourself with that stew. This weirdo with a school on the shoulder and Anatoly. This seasoning was superb. I tasted dill and something else. Did you grow the herbs yourself? Oh, this little cute pie. Maria, you have to share a recipe with me. And this. This guy who I, I don't know. He's a hulking brute. Gregor. I could really go for what? Is anyone still hungry? Nothing makes you happier than cooking a great meal for friends. You could hold cooking classes here. You'd be extremely successful if you forage your local produce. Was anyone listening earlier? I'll have the rest if nobody's as hungry. <laughs> Gregor. <laughs> Thanks for cooking again. I'm sorry, this is not my thing. The floor seems soft as the clear out of the kitchen. You look at the pile of dishes, and your mind starts to wander. <coughs> Excuse me? There's a cabbage on my screen. Fair enough is the mood. I mean I'm dealing with the I'm sorry, there's a cabbage on my screen. Is nobody gonna talk about this? There's a cabbage that wants to play hide and seek. You guys look mushrooms, Jesus Christ. Uh, a cabbage, big frighten. Exactly! <laughs> uh, yes, playing hide and seek with a cabbage sounds much better than doing dishes. 
There's five of us to find. Can you find all of us? I don't know, but we're gonna try. <laughs> the redhead woman should know where the basement key is. Isn't that convenient? I mean, inconvenient. And I bet one of us is hiding down there. She's whittling something in the rocking chair right now. So watch out for that knife. Jesus Christ. Probably best to avoid the knife. Spooky garbage. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, we're playing hide and seek lose the dice. That's exactly it. <laughs> All things considered, which would you rather do? Scrub the pot or play hide and seek with a sentient cabbage to the death? <laughs> it's a floating talking cabbage. That wants to play hide and seek and will kill you if you lose. Yeah, it seems like a fun time. <laughs> oh my goodness. As leader of the trumpet, it's critical we all escape at the same time. So please, don't forget any of us. Catch me if you can't. <laughs> oh, good luck. Cabbage rolls away and tries to hide. Oh no. Maybe now is a good time to speak with a red-haired woman. Alright, let's just check out the living room. Looks like she's just slicing away as a block of wood. Cabbage is correct. The knife looks sharp. Okay. She had a smile, and then she realized we were there. And that smile yeeted faster than I really faster than I can imagine. Can I help you? That is sharpening. She's sharpening for later. Oh my goodness. Alright. What is she with thing? A wooden knife. Karen is with thing a wooden knife. Do you want one? Yes. Give me five weeks. <laughs> Behind schedule right now and you're wasting my time. <laughs> Scram. Uh, you think the Karen will remember that? You unlocked the Karen artwork in the extra section of the main menu. Achievement unlocked. Charming companion. Nice. Have you seen the basement key anyway? Got a gift for the carriage. It's a wooden shank. Didn't she leave it in the kitchen? Uh, you can't remember. <laughs> I haven't seen the key. So, uh, good luck with that. Maybe one of the chumpets has this in the kitchen. You decide to check out the kitchen. Well, that's linear. Thankfully, there's not too many places for cabbage to hide. <laughs> Where do you want to check first? <laughs> Can I stick my fuse in the cauldron? Is everyone okay with that? <laughs> but then I wouldn't knife with a steel knife. Stonks. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Our options are the cupboards behind the wood pile and the cauldron. I'm sticking my face in the cauldron. You hear some rustling around. Thunder! Ah. Yes, we cabbage. You found her. Me. Well done. As leader of the trumpets, you don't need to convince me. I'm coming with you. Cabbage has joined the party. If there was ever a point in time in my life where I had to question what I was doing, 
have a strange party. Oh my god. No. Extra awesome, don't. Don't defile the cabbage like that. Defile the cabbage properly. <laughs> Four chumpets to go. Oh yeah. Tempting and interrogate cabbage. Uh, do you know where the basement key is? Sep cabbage, oh jeez. You are terrible. Of course! <laughs> right in that nasty oven. It is nothing but a big pile of ashes in the oven. And now like ball pits in my head. He found the basement key. Yeah. There it is! Aren't you going to wash your hands though? Cabbage almost gets you into washing your hands. <laughs> almost. That's disgusting. Let's focus on the mission ahead. Finding the trumpets. Stop, stop, cabbage. My goodness. Why are y'all like this? Ah. I heard some noise coming out of the bedroom. How are you doing this? How are you guys doing this? Why does ca- Excuse me. I'm trying to run a not so PG-13 PG stream here. In a Minecraft- in a Christian Minecraft server. What are y'all doing? What demon are you summoning? Why does Cabbage want to go in the bedroom with me? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> oh god. Maybe that's a good place to search first. Yeah, sure. <laughs> We're going to bed with the Cabbage. Probably. Great. I'll meet you there. Cabbage rolls on the hallway. Will she lead you to another trumpet? Huh? Radio? What is going on with that radio? He didn't even notice it on the ground when he walked in. Did someone leave it here? It looks newer than anything you've seen before. Hmm. Seems to be broken. Oh god. Maybe you'll pick a signal when you're looking around the cabin. Don't put your answers inside me. Yes. Gotta hold on to this radio. You got the strange radio. Time to see what cabbage found in the bedroom. Oh jeez. I guess we're checking out the bedroom. I thought you'd still be fending off that bl bl glutton Gregor right now. Um, Anastasia was with that feast and also was with that squirrel. I found a book under one of the beds. Do you know what the cover says? I know it's only two words long, but I can't make out the title. Um. Why would we know? Is the thing. Tell them what the title is. Ah, uh, yes, cabin cooking. <gasps> That's awesome. You're gonna have some pizza rolls. I want pizza rolls. 
That was awesome. The enemies don't understand, man. Terrible title. Alliteration is so childish. Speaking of cookbooks, what's for lunch tomorrow? Maybe I can forge a special ingredient for you. What do you have in mind? You tell him. Interesting. I think that will pair nicely with wild yarrow. I'll go look for some around the cabin. Talk to you later. You unlock the anatomy profile in the extras menu section of the main menu. Well, the more we know. Oh, well, time to find onion. You have pizza too, but actual pizza and not rolls. Pizza is awesome though. And I'm right. Why? Why are you also very uncomplimentary? Jesus Christ, have fun guys. <laughs> You're making me hungry. Well, time to find onion. Onions are smaller than a cabbage, so this might be more difficult. Where do you want to check first? Oh boy. Under the beds, underneath the floorboard, inside the nightstand, inside the birdcage. Where do you guys want to check? For an onion. Let me just sip my coffee on and please don't just answer. Because you guys are going to make this amazing, I'm sure. Four boards. Cool. You know, there's a bone sticking out from the four boards. Is it a human bone? Nope, it's a chicken bone. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> well, that was worth a shot. I have to say that, I don't regret anything. Check in the bird cage next. There's nothing in the wood cage. It's completely empty. <laughs> uh that's like in the nightstand. He is here. Look at that. Onion. We found onion and onion's the boy. Come to think of it, cabbage is a ghoul. We have this confirmed. <laughs> yeah, cabbage is a she. She's confirmed. Don't be a crybaby. It's just me, Onion. Jesus Christ. No matter what, no matter what it looks like, <laughs> achievements on loss. Don't cry. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> I assure you, I'm sweet. Uh, onion sweet. Okay, cool. Honest. Did, uh, did you sprint here? You're drenched in sweat. I could smell you coming a mile away. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> I don't have a nose. <laughs> but if I did, I would probably lose my lunch. <laughs> When's the last time you had a bad stinky? Like last week? Why? Don't answer that, too late. <laughs> Just join me in the boiling water sometime. I'll think about it, but probably no. <laughs> really loosens the meat of those old bones. You're a vegetable. You have no meat. Got a fun factoid for you. You know what's good for a sore throat? Me. Onion. Just chop me up and mix me with with I'm not giving you the answer here. A sweet onion. 
I'm buzzing with excitement. Uh, what do we give for a sore throat? I'm thinking honey. Yeah. Cool. So apparently onion and honey for a sore throat. Cool story. The sulfuric compounds help soothe your throat and the honey just tastes great. I mean, makes sense. Of course, I'll come with you. Onion has joined the party. Is my life going to get any more complete than it is right now? <laughs> I now have a party of me, cabbage, and onion. <laughs> you know how strong the three of us are combined? We could fight every boss in the game and beat them. <laughs> We're just gonna one shot bosses like bosses. Oh, we'd be legendary. <laughs> well, some money on you, right? <laughs> oh my god. Glad to have you join us, Onion. <laughs> no problem. There's nothing else to do today. <laughs> He's telling the truth. <laughs> I heard Brad making noise in the living room. You know how loud he can get. Bread? <laughs> the one and only. Charm pets! <laughs> Let's move on. My life's gonna be complete when I get the elite badge. My party is quickly expanding. <laughs> Three chambers left. Looks like the strange radio picked up a signal. They're not sure what the purpose of this forecast is. Uh, why is my third box going on? You were hoping this strange radio would play up music or something. Nope, oh, it's a spirit box. Oh well. No use focusing on this right now. Hasn't stopped. It's for the living room. Okay, it stopped. It's the entry in different languages. You recognize by entry in. And I thought I heard in German, but I'm not sure. I was in German with some other weird language I, for some reason, really can't tell The number four. Gregor, I was looking everywhere for you. I already licked some of the bowls clean, so I need to wash them. Wouldn't want to waste anything, right? I'm a green guy. Gregor, do you have to leave room? You recognize Italian, Russian, Bulgarian, German, French, and Spanish. Six ways. Damn. I should I should have recognized French and Spanish. And I don't know why I didn't. Probably because I wasn't listening. Going only in one direction. Horizontally. How what extra awesome. I'm just gonna call it extra from now on. Thanks for cooking dinner for us today. Give all the sand to work on our hobbies. Karen with her wet thing. Anatoly with his herbalism. Maria with her studies. Maria, Maria. HB speaking Dutch. Hello, Xpish Dutch. 
Eeks Blish Dush. I'm butchering this. Eeklib Dushlin. I'm sure I butchered that. And this is why I would never go to that. Uh, I don't know where. <laughs> this man really said Dutch. Yeah, I said Dutch because I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you expected. Aichi <laughs> son. Cool. <laughs> I speak English, half of French, and a third of Spanish. That's it. Like if I say I seek any other language aside from these three, it's in one phrase or one word. <laughs> it makes sense. And me? I'm just here for the food. Oh my god, I know I saw something there. He really sees German and said Dutch. Yep. There's no limit to how dumb I am. Deutsch in... Yeah, I'm not saying that correctly, but Deutsch in German is German. Cool? Cool. <laughs> when you see a D, U, T, C, and H linear, linear like in a row, it tends to lean to Dutch. That's how a dumb man thinks, and I'm a dumb guy, so leave me alone. <laughs> You're learning German and Bulgarian on your own. Intriguing. Okay, guys, here for food. You should uh, double the recipe next time. Same with Jumlin. HB. Y'all are some amazing people. Which is why you can read Cyril Cyrillic. I mean. Okay, fair. And when I say I can read Cyrillic, I mean I can read the Donda ciphers. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's fun. I will allow that. <laughs> I'd permit it to him. Shop king. Nice. Extra, you're in the same boat as me. We're dumb. But we need to stick together. We can't let these smart people, these fancy people, intimidate us. We need to stick together. We are stronger together. We could be so much greater together. That's so none of us can have it later. <laughs> A terrible idea. Anyways, going to check out those beds. Sleeping on the couch has been killing my back. We're not stupid for not learning languages. That's true. Everyone has their passions, and <coughs> for some reason, these two have decided to learn languages as a passion project. Marat has learned to kanji, a little to hiragana, and as soon as he stopped watching anime, he lost interest. It'd be like that. And Gregor's eating out. We unlocked the Gregor profile in the extra section of the main menu. The couch looks like a good bed to you. Hmm, bread. Where do you want to check this? You know how much Hindi is in that way? Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> Uh, extra if you're there, where you want to look for this bread? <laughs> in a mousel, under a couch, or on a bookshelf? Come on. Are you getting first guess? Oh, I just decided to go through the list. First? So the muscle? <laughs> my, 
<laughs> Murph washed out Kasumsi and never went back. Why did you watch Kasumsi? Right, in the muscle we go. Yeah, I figured. Bread's a boy. On me. Everyone secretly fear a trumpet. Bread. Don't you love me? I love you. Achievements unlocked on a roll. <laughs> Oh god, we love bread. Ha 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 My cousin Cornbread taught me that one. Jesus Christ. He has hundreds. No, thousands of terrible puns. He's my role model. God. <laughs> so what do you need? <laughs> He's a bread about gathering the trumpets together. That's a pretty crumby idea. Remember what happened last time with Petito? I mean, you're going against the whole green here. You really want to help us out? Oh, actually, they're talking about Indian soap operas. And when we say Indian, East Indian. I'll come with you if you pass my culinary quiz. Oh jeez. You've always been good at cooking stuff, so this should be a piece of cake. No eyeball measurements today, you're being exact. No dashes, shakes, or just a touch of here. Wouldn't want to ruin this recipe, right? This is a math quiz, oh jeez. Here we go. One fourth of a teaspoon is 1.25 milliliters. My special bread recipe calls for two teaspoons of salt. How many milliliters would that be? Okay, first off, see you. As usual. Secondly, we're rolling back because. Oh, four to the teaspoon. But well, that's fine then, a teaspoon is 5 milliliters. Then 2 is 10. You know what? That's correct. Cabbage, onion, get in here! Oh my god. Yes, Brad? <coughs> they can do math! I'm joining the group! <laughs> Brad has joined the party. Oh god. That's wonderful. Glad to have you on board, Brad. Anytime. Let's go find Raspberry. I think I heard her over by the basement door. Perfect! Chumbat no field. You have three trumpets in your party. Two more to go. This one's similar to the broadcast from before. Alright. How my language needs to I love you all, so tell me what number is that. Oh, what the heck is going on in my head? 
pretty annoying. Do these numbers mean anything? Probably not. It's in four now. Oh well. Maybe someone knows how to repair this thing. Um, I'm gonna preemptively save and jump back a bit. Load. Is it here? Okay, I had to check. Head into the basement door. Oh, didn't see you creeping up behind me. Hi, Maria. Why is the dead boat on this door? That's some high security for a cellar full of beets and potatoes. Or maybe it's hiding something else, like a deep dark secret. Drugs and <laughs> I don't care what Karen says. You're funny. See your own. You unlock the Maria for fell in the actual moon. She's here. The blues outside and south. No mini game? You can hear a pin drop. You can almost hear her breathing. You feel the sudden urge to scream. You can't sneak up on me. Don't ever try that again. Hi, how Surprise! Son, oh, dear raspberry. Oh wow, it's very nice to see you, college. Jesus Christ. Uh, we wouldn't leave you behind, Raspberry. Good boy. Honest, we need your help finding Potato. Our combined jump at detective skills say he's in the basement. Huh? Oh yeah? You have the basement key? Raspberry is the lead veg. comments or not. Here it is! Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah, I helped find it. Don't not see you trying to find Potato. Why would you want to find him? I think you didn't meet the red haired woman. Of course, Carriage meet me. Cabbage meet me. I don't know what you Her house very easily lead veg. Oh my goodness. Be very, very cautious around her. No. If you're not careful, she'll bury you. Oof. I didn't expect that one, but okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I don't have any other puns, so please don't go it. If you're ever in a jam, though, just let me know. Raspberry. I got your back. <laughs> no recruitment quiz? She seems very excited to come with you. You throw up in your mouth a little bit. <laughs> it's settled, I'm coming with you. <laughs> Raspberry has joined the party. <sighs> One more to go. The basement is already unlocked. Let's go find Potato. It started raining again outside. You feel a knot in the pit of your stomach. It's just a staircase. None to be scared of. You begin your descent. The 
It's not on the Jiffin wall, it's the uh, Eggles of the Seekies. Is this... Was it from the floods? The whole... the walls have changed. It looks like a mixture of dudes and suits. I don't like this man, too. My volume up. I need a rain. Something is approaching. Keep going. Hey, grab your teeth and keep going. Oh, the sound of rain has completely stopped down here. Your vision is fading too. The pressure is intense. You feel like you're trapped under mass motion. You think you can hear something faintly. Someone's knocking from the top of the stairs. You ignore the distraction and found you've lost track of time down here. Your radio turns on. That's crying woman. A strange radio seems to be connecting with something from beyond. Yeah, because that's the spirit box, you know. You're experiencing some serious deja vu. You decide to continue downward. Your feet finally hit solid ground in the basement. Something doesn't feel right. Everyone heard that ghost whisper was behind you, right? You feel around the wall blindly and locate the light switch. <laughs> She's right in front of you. Okay. Oh great, you heard. Well, are we running or are we gonna search the basement? Because, you know... That was a jump scare. It was a decent jump scare. You're hacking spoops. Alright, cool. Sounds like a good reason to keep searching. Potato must be looking down here. You move your hands along the wall blindly. The smell down here is revolting. Your nauseous flare with each inhale. Your eyes can make out two directions to explore. The smell seems to be coming seems to be coming from the room on the left. I like how run is still an option here. So are we checking for that smell? Or are we using a wee? Go right into the fire, gotcha. You're wandering into your demise, thank you, garbage. Trust me, it's time to turn around. You feel the gentle push of a trumpet. Let's get out of here. Sorry, had to get you out of there. Let me gather my thoughts and we'll get your ranking. Wow. You found four of us. That's pretty damn close to five. We can't move on without potato though. After everything that's happened, it just wouldn't feel right. Even if he wasn't one of the original group, 
We still need him here. Completely disagree. As Ray is right. The potato sit in the basement. He's got company down there. That's enough. Here on Kinsey. He is an awe inspiring. Well done. To celebrate, we made your bed. Sweet dreams. Okay. We can save there. But also, I want an F uh, S ranking. To the left we go. The sense is stronger in this room. Small echoes make this room feel enormous. You can't see the eyes, but you can feel them. You're being watched. Oh, my poor save. Get to the room sensor. You're sorry, your bros want you to play Among Us. You said you would earlier. Give them the other stream when we're done. Um, I don't know how long the stream will last. Yeah, let's check back for the VOD. You can check it on YouTube too, probably. But that's not over tomorrow thing. We'll come back here. Yeah. It's no problem. <clears throat> Family is important, so. No sweat. Also, when I stream, it's usually 10 p.m. ish. But if you ask me what days, I don't have a regular schedule. Seven viewers, wow. <laughs> the pimp jumping. <laughs> Mine says four, just saying. You tap your foot along the ground blindly until you reach the center. I see you. Um, how do you all feel about spirits watching us? You almost tripped on the stairs. Feels like the spiral staircase descends deeper on the ground. Go deeper into the abyss? <laughs> you have really good headphones. You almost pissed yourself. <laughs> uh, yes. You wind down the staircase until you reach the bottom. Your shoes stick to the floor when you touch down the floor. That's a bit repetitive. Nani? The smell of mildew and something rotten makes you gag. You can barely make out the outlines of door frames in each direction. Which way should you go? Uh, did anyone hear what that ghost said? Yeah, I didn't catch what that ghost said. So we're going north. A chill blows through you. Your knees feel so cold they could snap at any minute. This area reminds you of an underground cave. Hey, you know what lives in caves? <laughs> Huge flesh eating bears. Let's get out of here. Okay, 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 no. Oh, that's a no go. We are to the south. This room feels warmer when you enter. You begin sweating more than normal. You feel like you're going to pass out. Hey! Cabin, cabin. Looks like you're about to get cooked in this room. And wow, <laughs> you definitely need a bath after this. Let's get upstairs. I'll fill the bath for you. Okay. It works. What are you all hype about? 
she's right. <laughs> so it costs me nuts at finest. Nice. Okay. I love Fukasumi Zerans, because it's the best joke ever. And it's also a real thing. East? Your hands run across a large door. That should be it, right? It's locked. Open it. You unlock the door with the basement key. You hear someone mumbling incoherently. The hair stands up on the back of your neck. You clench one fist instinctually and get ready to strike. Oh me. Takes guts to come back here. Achievements unlocked. Top theater. What? You want a joke? Hmm. What did the teenage potato call the toddler potato? Tater tot. So that one from Bread's cousin Cornbread. Oh jeez. I must commend you. It must have been difficult to come back here. Oh god. Your face looks blank. Have you forgotten what happened? Have you forgotten me? I'd say that sounds as a yes. Oh well. Is anyone else expecting a jump scare from Potato? Take me to college and let's get this over with. Potato has joined the party. We'll join that memory later. I'll be right behind you. Yeah! Wow. I'm coming. Great job finding all of us. This video looks fine, you see. Sure. Oi, oi. We've unlocked a special recipe for you. Just don't burn the cabin down making it, okay? You unlocked it in Natasha's kitchen. Lazy cabbage oil recipe. In the extra section. Jesus Christ. Okay, we have enough to battle to leave for. <laughs> a party of five? Plus us is six. <laughs> Very exciting to have someone solve the puzzle. Thanks for gathering them together. You'll come visit us again, right? Please do. Can't wait. Don't be a stranger. Chumpets? Let's move out. Why are you still here? They can finally rest. Thank you for finally letting them move on. Achievements are not good, why? Me? I'm not going anywhere. Was he just shaking? Just let us know. Oh, yeah, he's trembling and zooming in. Gotcha. Let's chat again in a year, okay? Need to break the fourth wall here for a minute. Follow us on Twitter at Daydream Studio for updates and sneak peeks of future titles. What's that? You wanted one last jump scare? <laughs> uh, sorry, but you need to wait for the real cooking companions. Thanks for playing. Did you want to try for another ending? Or end things with a comedy competition? I'm so confused. Let me end things with the comedy competition. You got it.
Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my goodness, the bitch is tanking. How can the bitch be tanking and it also says excellent quality? That's it, no boss music. Welcome to the third annual Chumpet comedy composition. See, I can't make heads or tears of this game. Sometimes it's horror, sometimes it's jokes, and I just like, oh god. I'm your hostess with the mostess, Cabbage. Yes, yeah, see, Cabbage is a girl. Today we'll be hearing from a bunch of talented comedians. Cabbage. All aiming for that amazing title, Comedians of the Chumpads. Here's how the rules work. Each comedian is given two minutes to make you laugh. Oh, the Chumpad with the most votes at the end wins. First up, she'll always help you out in the jam. It's raspberry. Oh. Raspberry. Oh, Thanks, Savage. Went to the doctor last week for my annual physical. Got a referral to a dermatologist to get one of my droplets checked out. She wasn't sure if the seed inside was fine or if it was something more serious. Dermatologist looks at it for a few minutes. Sometimes you need to put some cream on it. What is this a puppy? <laughs> I'm not stuck here with you, you're stuck here with me. So I was just gonna say welcome to hell. Come on, Doc. So that was very serious. So I booked the appointment. Had a lot of mixed up emotions swirling inside of me. <laughs> like a buffet. You know what a parfait is, right? Anyway, had a friend over to break the news to. She came over, had a shocked look on her face. Told her how the news was getting me a little sad. <laughs> You're one blueberry right now, she said. <laughs> I look, you wanna die. <laughs> And she was right. And even though I was worried about being squished in a surgery, <laughs> at least I wasn't being squished going into a parfait. That's my time. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Give it up for us, baby. How do we get into the comedy show? <laughs> Is this my reward for? For getting all five of them, a comedy show. <laughs> a really bad comedy show. Up next, he's bringing the Funyun. It's Funyun. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're all too kind, seriously. My grandmother was an amazing woman. But during holidays, her comedy was on another level. I see onions. What is this, casino? <laughs> oh, but that's the way grandmother rules, folks. Can make the whole room laugh with her comebacks. One time, a family friend came over for dinner, right? And he said to my grandmother, "Onions are the only food that makes you cry." Outrageous, right? She threw a coconut at him. <laughs> Got his food to go that night, folks. But seriously, nobody messed with my grandmother. One time, we caught her eating a can of beans with some onions. Beans and onions, can you believe it? Grandmother, why are you eating beans and onions? She winked at us. Beans and onions? Onion. Making tear gas for the war effort right now. <laughs> Leave me alone, kids. <laughs> My time is up. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. <laughs> <Cabbage>. <laughs> Stupid. 
still jokes from sea vegetables, you're right. If it's this tier now, we just wait until we reach bread. Oh god, he had a foot onion making us cry with those jokes. Butcher him some butter. <laughs> Guarantee you'll see him sweat. Up next, the original cup of comedy. Ooh, cool, it's bread. <laughs> Thank you, cabbage. So, uh. I think this is one of Cornbread's jokes. Uh, what's the bread's favorite genre of music? Do you give up? It's a uh, rock and roll. <laughs> I will like the bread. <laughs> oh god, I can't believe they put cricket noises in the game for that. <laughs> Get it? Tough crowd, not very savvy on bread references. <coughs> I have a yeast infection. <laughs> what? T t t thank you. Please slap for bread. Hope you've been having fun today, everyone. You're the best audience on it. As leader of the trumpets, I'll be going last. Uh, people are always asking me, Cabbage, do you know how famous you are? They named the soup lot for you. The cabbage soup. Mostly water, but it'll get the job done. <laughs> My sister lets us put some. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, cabbage and lettuce. That's just so nice. My sister lets us want to put some meats on vegetables in her stomach. She said she was a burrito. I said lettuce. That's a wrap. Call her let us wrap for the next five years. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Love science? You ever heard of Coors Law? <laughs> Coors Law <laughs> Coors Law says that any leftover cabbage must be mixed with mayonnaise. Bam, another one. Lastly, what do you call a cabbage's murder? Cabbage. Slaughter. That's my set. <laughs> Judges, please vote for the trumpet with the best comedy set. Achievement unlocked. Chocolate hot buttercup. Oh my god. Who should win? <laughs> Didn't even see potato. Should potato win? Alright, who was the best? Was it raspberry or onion? Or are we gonna try to slap potato for some reason? <laughs> nice one. I'm pretty sure I wanna give it to onion. Raspberry is the lead veg, fair enough. Thank you for voting. Let me count out the votes. Huh? Yeah, we yeah, have a winner, folks. The winner of the third annual trumpet comedy competition is. Always Mary Raspberry! You get up here and say a few words, Raspberry. Raspberry! Raspberry! <laughs> Thank you, Cabbage. It's an honor to win the third annual trumpet comedy competition. After so many tears have been shed here, some laughter is sorely needed. Funny as funny. And thanks to everyone except the judge. Huh? The views and opinions expressed by Raspberry do not reflect the official position of the trumpets. But that does it for today. <laughs> Thank you, comedians, for your participation. Got any last words for the audience, Raspberry? 
No matter how sticky it gets out there. Yeah, we didn't make it out of this jam. <laughs> oh, wise words. <laughs> See you yeah, next year, yeah, everyone. Yeah, Not Bunyan. Ah, jeez. That was an experience. Wait, can you believe this? We just we just had a comedy competition. We were just at a comedy competition for vegetables. Are you all satisfied yet? Is this quality content? <laughs> this game is not suitable for children or those that are easily disturbed. Do you wish to continue to the real game or listen to the comedy show again? I want to play the real game. Why didn't she pick that the first time then? What? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> uh, they asked if you want to get another ending. Okay, cool. Quality, but you want more. Cool. That's fine. Apparently, there's more. <laughs> Holy guacamole. Was the raspberry such an amazing? The perfect blend of real life experiences with food references. Incredible. I honestly can't see onion or bread catching up anytime soon. She's killing it. Anyways, let's play some hide and seek, shall we? Cabbage rolls away and tries to hide. Go check out the living room. Looks like she's just slicing away at the block of wood. Cabbage is. Wait, what? Alright, so. We somehow ended up back here? Hey, this makes no sense. What are you with laying up with a knife? Want one? You can with me anything you want, take your time. You're pretty charming, huh? I can build enough weapons for an army if you, uh, for an armory if you let me. You know this carrying son to blush a little. You certain Karen will remember that. Alright. We're seducing Karen. That'd be a waste. That'd be a waste of your talents. Wouldn't be the sounds without you. Thank you for the cooking lessons. Let's cook something together. Can you grab something from the basement? The basement key should be somewhere in the kitchen. At least I think that's where you put it last. We got our work. You turn car and I head for the kitchen. Thankfully, there's not too many places for cabbage to hide. Let's actually check everywhere else this time. They're all empty. Must have been the dishes that are piling up. Yikes. What about the wood pile? There's nothing but cobwebs. Thankfully, no spiders. Oh, so there are these in the gold room. Hi, cabbage. Um, okay guys, what do y'all want to do? Do y'all want to say not no I am sick anymore and piss off cabbage and go back to hell? Oh, 
Or what in this case are you? Focus on the machine ahead. I need the trumpets. I heard some noise coming out of the bedroom. Maybe that's a good place to switch first? Probably. <laughs> and then the haunted area. What do I mean go back to hell? This is the first time I'm playing this. I meant the basement. Because I'm pretty sure if you skip, you know, you just end up in the basement. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! T-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-t-
Alice or Lee's anything. That's not true either. What are you cooking tonight? You tell her. It's your specialty, cabbage rolls. That sounds great. You look for your first ingredient. You take some meat out of the pantry. This meat's severely rancid. You can smell it before the drawer is even open. Everyone's nose is sniffling. Guys, you put it down. What is this? It smells disgusting. You sure that's safe for human consumption? This smells familiar. Why would you serve that to us? Maybe it's aged to perfection. You know what? I'm not so into meat. You grab your knife. See how the meat on both sides. Nice. Trying to get the, edge of the edges with fumbling a little. Next up is chopping the cabbage. I saw adding some vegetables. That's not helping much. Why are you smiling like that? This meat is not to smell at all. The meat was done cooking. Mmm. Everyone begins to salivate. Hey, you're from fish cabbage rolls. Jeez, why is she. She's smiling too much. I can't wait anymore. You see Karen's knife out of the corner of her dress. I can't see it. Give it to me. No. Karen gets ready to bury the knife into you. See where you can a cool sweat. Wake up, stupid. You were having a nightmare. Why are we in bed with Karen? I haven't seen someone trash in their sleep like that. You must be pretty hungry after all that exploring. Want one last treat? Don't worry, I won't tell the others. I found a dead mouse in one of the cupboards. And I want you to have it. How's that for a big breakfast? You remember the old proverb, right? Appetite comes with eating. Don't worry, it gets easier after your first one. It's decaying a little, but it's still fresh enough to devour. You're going to love it. Oh, that was horrifying. Do you want a better ending? At this point, I don't know how the heck this works. So we're just gonna say yes. Jump scam would activate it. Oh god. This is bad, isn't it? When is it fire? <laughs> I would if I could, but I don't understand this game at all. Why is there so many mini games in this game? Title screen. Now let's just take a minute. Go up into extras. We have the current art gallery. Oh my goodness. Cabbage. Onion. Raspberry Potato Mariah Anatoly Frego Karen Oh my god An actual recipe for these garbage rolls A jump scare Convenience, what that is. Is that it? Okay. Is that everything in this game? I mean, we're going through jump scare mode right now. This mode is mostly for fun. This game is a journey for sure. Yeah, it is.
I'm curious what's at the end of jump scan mode. So we're doing this. You'll have five seconds to make a decision. Don't answer me correctly. Everything feels a little different. Oh, oh my god, we're cooking. <laughs> I mean, we got a recipe, we could cook, but like, <laughs> no. Hello, cabbage. Do you sleep well? No. That's a miracle given the storm. But what storm? I had the perfect idea for a rainy day. A quiz show. Here's how it works. Get the answers correct, or something bad might happen. You have one question, clear room, until we reach the basement. Yeah. Good luck. Let the games begin. Call for trumpets to jump on your back. You will be whispering the questions into your ear. So don't mess it up. Potato's looking around. But don't let that discourage you. First question. How many trumpets are there? To buy it to 16 minus 11 five. Correct. Huh? Karen's gone. Next question. What was Karen whipping? Uh, I wouldn't know. That's correct. Child's play. Let's check out the bedroom. Karen isn't in here either. Next question. What is the species name for a house mouse? Um, Mus muscalus. Mus muscalus. Yeah, I can't pronounce that. I don't know. You made it so far already. You earned a prize. A trip to the basement. Nice. Wow. Top of the stairs already. <laughs> so, um, 3,000 years ago, which country invented bread? I might die here. Egypt. Egypt invented bread. Now we know. Correct. Wow. On our road today. My turn. Let's keep going. I'm so concerned. Almost there. Back to where it all began. <laughs> Feeling old yet? Old. Ooh, I got a good one. Okay. I'm bad at history, so we're gonna save this. How old is the earth? 4.5 billion years. That was the oldest one we could find. Yeah, that's correct. Give or take 50 million years, the Earth is 4.543 billion years old. Jesus Christ. Wow, how do you know that, Raspberry? Plenty of research, Cabbage. Awesome. We're almost to the room. Let's keep going. You navigate the labor and set the basement. You're nearing the door. Almost to the room. You know. Cabbage whispers in your ear. The others will never forgive you. But as leader of the trumpets, I feel like I have to. Even if everything was terrible, sometimes the leader needs to look past that. It'd be so boring if we didn't talk to each other, right? Does that make any sense? It's 4 billion years, and 4.5 is the age of the sun. Welp. Game logic. Probably not. That's why we brought you here again. To talk with Petito and enjoy that memory of yours. Yep, she's upset again. Can't blame her though. She would have been a great addition to the trumpets. One last question, Cabbage. Yes, you only have three seconds to answer this one. 
Oh, sorry. When I wanted to catch you? Last question. Where are we right now? Yeah, that was creepy. Also, it's not as creepy as the jump scare that's about to happen because I got this wrong. What? Happy you know you've been all these years? That's correct. I guess that. I said Tatras. Oh, okay. Okay, I got a lucky guess. And we saw what that jump scare was. It was terrifying. It's time to talk to Potato. We'll be right outside while we work things out. Oh god. Hi buddy. Made it to the end? Well done. But playing games with the trumpets. Wouldn't expect you to be so... Accommodating. Feeling a little guilty, eh? I know it's been a while. Probably don't remember what happened, correct? Of course you don't. It happened a long time ago. I cornered the floor in this basement room. I'm so glad your eyes are closed. That's fair. And all of us ended up dead. Cabbage, onion, raspberry bread. They're still afraid to enter this room. Too traumatized to come to grips with it. Why do you think Cabbage wanted you to play some of the games with her? She wanted you to remember what happened there. And now? And now you're talking to a potato. And obviously you're not remembering anything. Well, since you made it this far, I feel like you earned something. You earned the cabbage rules. Dig in. They do exist. <laughs> the the achievement, the achievement on they do exist. They do exist. Sorry to interrupt you. But thank you for playing the cooking companions, appetizer edition. Yeah yeah yeah. Follow us on Twitter at the Adrian Studio for updates and previews. See you again, same time next year. Um... Okay. Food, food indeed. We got two endings. Okay, I don't know what else there is in this game. We got... <laughs> Let me check Steam. Let's check the achievements list and see what they're missing. Okay, there's one or two things left. We got some endings, you're right. I 
I like this style. Trying to reduce some bad decisions, huh? Seeing if there's anything different. There probably is. But to be perfectly honest with you, I'm just here for the hide and seek. You never know when someone will be hiding this time. You should still talk to the red-haired woman first. After that, you're on your own. Bye bye. Cabbage rose will be interested. She's probably right. Which I got living in. I mean, okay. In terms of endings, we got full party and um, first and last. We still have the um, the non potato ending. And apparently there's stuff to do with Karen, with Karen here. Can I help you? What are you doing with the knife? You won't want one? What's only anything you want? Actually. And this is unfortunate because I'm dumb. No. Liar. You wouldn't have enough money even if you did. I mean, like, kind of artwork. Watch out for that knife. Okay. He's some sort of pacifist or something. We won't know your way around the knife. We won't know you know your way around the knife. Didn't she leave it in the kitchen? You can't remember. I haven't seen the key, so uh, good luck with that. Maybe you want to chunk that salad. Okay? You're impre- uh, I'm confused right now. Um... Okay. Can't you read? Eck. Don't tell the others what no. I only pretend to know my hope of this book too. He sounds the name of the book. Cabin Cooking. Terrible title, alliteration is so childish. So you're gonna cook books, what's on the menu? Yarrow, he goes to cook Yarrow. Okay, this is gonna be speedrun. But also, we're gonna get stuff wrong just to see what happens. Because it's interesting. Like here. Wrong. Oh, you're stupid. I near an onion. I may have tin skin. But make no mistake, right now, you're crying, not me. The correct answer is honey. I need another thermometer so she's not happy about it. Your question was stupid. He definitely didn't know the correct answer. I'm trying to teach you something new over here. Okay. Does it change? No, it doesn't. Numbers shot to trigger. We don't get an option for the cargo. Bookshelf. There's various books in a wide variety of topics. No time to read them now. Lots of cobwebs under the couch, time for the spiders. I'm Brezzo in the mouse hole. It means this. You know what? That's wrong, but you had it in the right place. I'll come with you. Intriguing. Ooh, time to interrogate Raspberry. Why do you care? Oh wow, rude. 
She's just trying to help you out. Well, not anymore. Bye bye. That's very good stuff to hide again. Don't worry about her. So we can actually run up Raspberry. No. Oh wow, bummer. It's unlocked already, so that's good news at least. See too. I don't get why you want to find them, but I'll come with you. There we go. Raspberry has joined the party. We got very good. Something feels off. What do you mean? Because they're not playing it smoothly, or because HB is not talking, or because this game is weird. Weird, 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 weird. Feels like there's more. Let's just go out upstairs. <coughs> nope. When you regain consciousness, you're footed on the staircase. Your PHP is doing okay. Same. Run. You run quickly to the staircase. You feel a breeze on your neck. Okay. Yeah, but the whistle is not explained. See. <laughs> I don't think this is a. Actually, I, it's not even. I don't think. I'm pretty sure that they make it. They make it clear that this is not a full game, and that the full game is releasing on a, on Halloween in 2020, which is a couple of days from now. And I know I can't afford it unless it's free. But I'm glad we played this, even if. We got to really mess stuff about it. And I'm pretty sure it'll explain to have more in that game. Play sick also. Anyways. Cabbage. Wow, we found four of us. That's pretty close to five. Can't move on without potato though. After everything that's happened, it just wouldn't feel right. Even if he wasn't one of the original group, we still need him here. Completely disagree, Raspberry is right. Let potato sit in the basement. Yeah, if this is supposed to be a demo, it's really really well done. It's amazing though. Well done. Let potato sit in the basement. Please go company down there. That's enough. Your ranking is E, yeah, it's very inspiring. Celebrate. They made our bed. Heh. <laughs> Why? I can't get the tears out of my mouth. You're weak in a cold sweat. You're, you're weak even if you won't open your eyes? I haven't forgotten about last time. We're out of food again. Let me just have a bite. Now. You weak in a cool sweat. A dream within a dream. Yeah, that's new because I did a poor character ending. Okay. Okay. There's a way to get cabbage by himself by herself. 
we got Cabbage and Potato, which is two people. We got Cabbage. What are they? Let's just jump out of here. Let me screen. I'm sure. Okay. The first ending we got was just cabbage. We've got some cabbage and potato. That's two. If we wanted three, we could get cabbage, onion, bread. And no about these two. If you haven't done yet. We've got enough for ending for just these four. And we've got in the five ending. I say we go for the three ending now. And then we try the four ending. But no about raspberry and get potato. <laughs> you're right, we're determined to change past Grab events. It. Yeah. No way to erase what happened in the past was shaped by our decisions, but not defined by them. <laughs> Makes sense? Well, most people aren't defined by their decisions. <laughs> Your history defines you, though. Wee, Sorry. Let's play some hide and seek and forget about this conversation. Okay? Extraordinary. That sounds great. Oh yeah? I can finish knives and swords first. If you pay me back with a nibble of that ear. Karen would definitely remember that. I'm getting pretty hungry. Can you grab me something from downstairs? The key should be somewhere in the kitchen. As you wish. Come back if you get lost. Okay. Let me get that car and I'll look again. Okay. My nerves are very shocked. But also, that was nice. Two. Three. That's it, right? That's it. Tends to root the raspberry to get them to loop out. Oops. Oh, it's time to ask why do you care? That's what we have to do. Walk upstairs. Run. Here we are. Great attempt. We found three of us. You were root to raspberry, but that's okay. Your ranking is B. B is in Bummer. Maybe you can be a better person next time? That would go a long way in reuniting all of us. Yeah, guess we're not moving on. It really seems you have some things to work on. We have a special surprise for you. Go to the bed and lie down. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Well, this is the same. You keep going. Like something will be changed for the better. <laughs> Wake up. Now. You wake in a cool spot, a dream within a dream. Uh, I think I'm beginning to lose my mind. I 
fucking Mariah, talk to me. I hate this kiss right now. Um, my head just is right now. I'm gonna check the achievements again. Just one missing, and it's the see a special note from the developer, which is not worth struggling for. Do I want to go completionist? I always go completionist when I have the chance. What does completionist mean in this occasion is the thing. Dogs walking in the road right now. Bark bark at them. I'm getting really tired of you expecting a different outcome. Other things may change, but me. I'm not changing anymore. They're getting the same lines from now on. So, hide and seek, hide and seek. Okay. Is that sound cool? That's unfortunate. What's the plan right now? Plan to get them all except um, except raspberry. Alright. Let's be with raspberry. Oh yeah. Never went to the bus. Oh, cool. Turn to the bus is just a jump scare. We need to go upstairs. No. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Look around for the key or the west door. Search around blindly but can't find anything. Looks like we reached a dead end. That's a gate and to head back upstairs. Strange. Ooh. Good job finding all of us. Well, four of us. You won't see me again after today. You've unlocked a special recipe. Just don't want to burn down the cabin being here. I like your style. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it, that's it, that's it. It was one line difference. Well, that was not worth it. Ugh. I'm glad we did it. But it was one line, one line's difference. It wasn't worth it. Hey. 
thoroughly enjoyed this though, as weird as it was. I low key think that's all for this game. Yeah, it was interesting. Interesting and very, very strange. I hope you're happy with it. <laughs> and I do want to check out. I can't check that out right now. We have to wait for Halloween to see if the um, full game gets released and also what genre it is. If it's a free horror game, we're downloading that. Hopefully it works. If it's not a free horror game, it depends on if it's free. <laughs> we'll probably download it if it's free and just have a nice visual novel. I don't know, I can't wait to see. It was a fun journey indeed. I should probably mention what's it called? Grim's Hollow. Okay. This was a nice, weird, absolutely strange game. Yeah, I will admit that. It's fun. But that's the end of this. Ah, uh, no. I'm not. I don't know. Tomorrow night, we will be playing Grim's Hollow. Okay? Normal 10 pm. So, Vlog Watchers, I hope you're watching this <laughs> early enough to know that 10 pm. Come play Grim's Journey with us. Or Grim's whatever with us. Grim's Hollow, right. I'll see you two. One of you needs sleep, and the other of you needs to stream or play games. So, get to it, people. <laughs> and everyone else watching, as well as these two lovely people here right now, thank you so much for watching. You are all amazing people. I know what you're doing up this late. But if I had slightest chance of entertaining you, I'm so glad you enjoyed it. What about Darkwood? I need to find Darkwood. Also, I might die. Oh, HV, you won't be on tomorrow. Why not is not a question I can ask. Well, remember what I said about we streaming tomorrow night? We might stream tomorrow night, we're not sure. We might postpone it until HP is free to stream. So... Sorry. <laughs> As usual... What can I say? If you want to know exactly when we're streaming, just follow me on Twitch. You know, twitch.tv slash winger underscore 785. I'll put a link in the description as usual. You can stream still. We'll see. In any case, I think we drive this one long enough. Although we can make it. Five minutes longer and go to two o'clock in two hours. So we'll see. It depends. In any case. Yeah, I've said this like three times already, but thanks again. 
I, I can't stop thanking you guys for watching this because it I'm just glad you, I have an audience. I'm glad I and I'm glad you guys enjoy watching me. Make a fool of myself and be randomly weird. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. I will see you all in the next video. In the next stream. Somewhere over the rainbow. Bye. <laughs>